What's going on? It's me, Sammy Mong, back with a awesome looking mount on Riders of Icarus. But before we get into that, if at any point you come back to the channel, maybe you subscribe if you're new. And I am further progressed in one video than any other. It's because I'm doing a mass recording of a ton of different cool mounts that I've saved up and ready to tame. So yeah. There's no just sort of, I've not gone backwards in my levelling, it's just different progression rates. But guys, I brought the crates, okay? So this is one of the mounts from the January crate that you can get either from the 11 box or you can buy them singly. The 11 box is, I believe, £25 if you live in the UK. And then a single box is a fiver, so they're rather expensive, but Nexon have gone ahead and given everyone a discounted package. So you can get 11 of, 11, is it? 11 of them for a tenner, okay? And this is one of the mounts that you can get in the boxes, besides the legendary Ice Armoured Karav. And yeah, he's very sought after on the auction house on my server, he's 200 gold. So if you do get him in the crates and you don't particularly want him, you can sell him for a bit of gold to help you out. But before we go into his skills, let's just look at him. Like, he looks like obviously a reskin version of a former crate mount, the Diagul. Okay guys, it's just a, like, in-between clip. Here's the original one, just to compare, so they look exactly the same, have the same glow, but this one's orange, so he's a bit more fiery, like a fire phoenix, and then the, uh, the other one, like I said, is like a bluey phoenix, and this one increases physical attack, physical defense, and strength, so it really caters towards assassins and, what is it, guardians like myself, berserkers, really helping out to get a massive DPS increase there. But he's got different stats, and honestly, I think the blue colour looks better than the orange, because the orange one, it looks more like a fire phoenix. This is like some cold, I don't know, cold-hearted blue phoenix. But going into his stats, he's only got one ability, apart, apart from mythic resilience, which obviously a ton of the heroics and legendaries have. He only has one other, which is overall attack overall defense and all attributes now you have to remember this is at the lowest level of level four so on screen i'll edit in a caption of what these stats are at the max level but i know at level 50 he only increases all attributes by two still that doesn't go up so you're getting a nice attack increase a nice defense increase and then a tiny 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 increase to every other stat that you have so a little bit more health potentially trying to think a little bit more critical rate critical damage depending on what you are obviously i am a guardian but guys that is one of the mounts i'm trying not to butcher his name the blue uh, diagonal you can't get any familiar skins for it so he does look like this obviously just constantly he's got a move speed of 10 a max altitude of 950 oh my god i'm getting cold i'm getting cold fellow mongs put on the dressing gown and then he's got nothing else really you can turn him into a pet and you can seal him so if you want this guy as a pet in the dungeons with you you are able to do that and that his is his that is his that is the flight animation of the mount guys a lot like the skeletas or the wind runners of the game like the phoenix flight animations if you've enjoyed this shorter video showcasing the blue diagonal the diagonal I, I, I honestly don't know how to pronounce it but be sure to leave that like down below comment if you'd like us to see any or see any if you'd like to see any other mounts would want us to tame any other mounts all of the social links are in the description down below, Twitter, Facebook, etc, etc. And yeah, we've, we've hit 1,500 subscribers, so expect to see a video on that soon. But thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.